is dot. Okay, we will discuss those uh, two problems regarding one from. Okay, this one. One was question number five, and other was how noise cancellation work. So. We will do this in the end of the class so that everyone who come either late, uh, he she can be able to understand this concept. Okay, so we will discuss these in the end. First, let's start with the NCRT problems. Do you guys have any doubt in any part of this chapter? Sir, can you uh, explain that visually impaired that part, sir? Visually impaired. Okay, this was like many person, like there was one person named as Louis Braille. He does not have eyesight. Okay, so... He, he was he was visually challenged so similarly there are many people who uh, face this problem like it may be from their birth it may be due to some disease or it may be due to some accident so due to which they lose their eyesight or they lose the power of their eyesight what does it mean the power, losing power of eyesight that means they can they have little bit sensation like if they open their eyes they have little bit uh, sensation that there is something but they cannot see very clearly okay so there is one person like I have noticed one person in IIT IIT Delhi so he used to work with the help of stick but he is not completely blind okay so he uh walks through whole like uh, from one place to another like he go from his hostel to the classroom and he also comes to library okay so what he has he has a less eyesight okay so he cannot see everything clearly that's why he is using stick okay to confirm if there is something or not otherwise he has little bit of idea like uh, very less idea that there is some object or anything. Okay. So, likewise, there was a uh, scientist named Louis Braille. He discovered a method through which the visually challenged person can read or write. Okay. So, this, the thing he discovered is known as Braille system. Okay. So, what is this Braille system? So, he has a tablet which has 26 dots. So, these are some points which are uh, out, uh, like coming out of the paper. Like, you can say some... Mm, so, like bulging out. Yes, bulging out. Correct. Thank you, Manasu. So, there are some bulge out of this plate the rectangular slate so there are 26 dots with the help of which like as you uh, know how to read and write okay so if you write hello so you okay not hello but hello so you know the meaning of h e l l o and the whole hello so you know how we arrange hell h e l l o Okay, so that we get whole as a hello. So likewise, there is some arrangement in this trail system with the help of which they can read and write. Okay, so this is the source of communication. Apart from that, they 
like how uh, so there is one thing like you have all kind of senses okay first can you tell me what kind of senses do we have so five five senses okay so what are that one is so eyesight touch so eyes so touch eyesight other is touch okay hearing touch, uh, tasting okay. okay good hearing taste smell smell okay so these are five kind of senses we have so we can never imagine the pain of someone who does not have even one of these okay so we have we should be grateful that we have all of these okay so every sense is important in its own way if you do not have even one sense there is huge impact in your life similarly let's say a person like louis braille does not have eyesight so how he manage his whole life if if he cannot see what is outside so that way like we our whole uh, brain is distributed with between the eyesight touch hearing tasting and smell but if this louis braille does not have eyesight so our senses are now divided between touch hear taste and smell so these senses will highlight and okay sir if they don't uh... if uh, they lose the sensor they get to use their other senses more effectively more effectively correct okay so due to the loss of this sense they are using other senses more effectively okay so that way we can say they have uh, highlighted senses other senses apart from eyesight okay is this clear now yes sir okay you read this whole para after this what is the braille system and all or and have you guys read about like i do not check your homework right from next class i will remember to check your your all homework now tell me have you read about how to take care of the eyes yes sir okay can you tell me how sir not you not using mobiles and tv for long time okay you should not rub our eyes sir you should not rub our eyes no okay no excessive rubbing uh, and also we should not look at a uh, uh, like light or laser and directly no uh Sir, we should not sit anywhere where there is lots of dust. Otherwise, it can uh, irritate our eyes. We shouldn't Correct. be reading should... when there is dim light. Correct. Very good. Sir, we should not. Uh, uh, dim light rubbing. Okay, Sir, there is one we, thing. Uh, we should not see uh light or laser light directly. Correct. This is also good. This is a good observation. That sir, you uh, should. Sir, torch light in our eyes. Ah, uh, uh, yes, torch light also. Any concentrated light, you can say. Any concentrated light. Dark or see a gadget in a dark, otherwise it can damage the eyes. Yes, it can damage our eyes because that way our whole eyesight is focused to that part, and it can cause much strain to our eyes. right this laser laser one is also good like why we should not see directly to the laser can someone explain like when we use lasers in our labs it is always advised that you sir because it is a kind of radiation light all light all kind of lights are radiation Okay. So and it points light to one single place. Yes, you can say that its whole energy 
its whole energy is concentrated to that single beam okay you know that the beam of uh, laser is so small like beam is large but the spot spot it create that is very small very small so the uh, whole whole energy is concentrated to the single spot what do you mean that let's say you have a large like there is a headlight of a car okay so there is a headlight of a car i'm making it like this so it is spreading like like this okay in all direction in all direction and let's say it has 50 watt power do you know the concept of power yes no no sir so, so and, time. Yeah, sir, watts is uh so is it watts? It's so power in, is work by time. So is it 50 watts? What is W? When we write full form as W A T T S, then we write uh, watts, but in short watts, form. So is it watts uh volts into ampere? Yes. Okay. No, no. Uh what you said, can you repeat? Like you said, what's power? I mean, like power is watts, and watts is volume into volume into ampere. No, no voltage into ampere. Yes, V I that is volts into ampere. Ah, uh, Manasvi was saying something. Yes, Manasvi. So power can be worked by time. Ah, uh, yes. Work by time is energy, and energy by time is so it's power. power. Work by time, okay. Okay, we joule, joule. You saying work by tower time? Hmm. Work per unit time is energy. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. Power is work by time. Correct. My my bad. So why uh, I was explaining that this is fifty watt power. So uh, Ashwat asked that what is power. So when any object emit light, when any object have voltage, and it has current, so it has some power. What do you mean by power? let's say you are sitting in a car and the car has motor so car is driving you okay like you start a car and you drive it so the motor has power with the help of it it is carrying you and whole of the car with itself so it has some power like you are you are like uh, you are pulling a rope Let's say you are pulling a rope which is attached to uh, some heavy object. So you are applying power. You are applying power to pull it. Okay. So I think it is clear that what it is meant by power. So similarly, when there is some light and it has voltage and current. So forget about voltage and current. When any object emits light, so this light can be measured in terms of power also okay so that means okay. this light is of 50 volt power and this whole power is distributed in every direction you cannot say that this single ray is consists of 50 watt power so this this power is distributed in every direction i think uh, you know that the bulb which uh, are there in your houses they they contain the rating as power have you seen it yes 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 100 volt 50 volt okay 
okay these are powers that the rating that comes with the bulb right there is also 10 watt power bulb also so it is the intensity the energy it emits per unit time okay okay sir so now what here happen is that this headlight is emitting a, a light since this since this headlight is rated this is rated as 50 watt power so that means this headlight will emit light which has 50 watt power and this light is distributed in every direction this power is distributed in every direction okay likewise i take a single laser light okay since since this light is also this is only a single a very narrow beam okay since this light is very narrow beam and it is also rated rated as 50 watt that means the energy which which was the energy or the power which was like spread in all direction is concentrated to the single ray so okay. then there is so now uh... okay wait so now this whole power is concentrated to single ray so you can imagine that 50 watt you search for like this uh, do this google that how much intensity how much light does the 50 watt bulb emit so this whole light is concentrated to the single ray which is very narrow and if it falls into any part of your eye it will surely get damaged so i can tell you how much is this 50 watt so we use in labs in labs we we'll use laser of power rating 50 milliwatt now can can you tell me what is 50 milliwatt it's a thousand part of one watt thousand that means 0 0.050 watt okay this power rating uh, okay so this is the power we use in the lasers with our, which are there in the labs even if even then we it is very uh, like uh, uh, we have to use these lasers with very caution that uh, we this laser light should never be put in the eyes okay similarly there let me search for the toys okay so you must have seen toys power rating Okay, less than one milliwatt. Fine. So, the power rating of the toys we uh, get in the uh, market. So, these lasers have intensity, their power less than one milliwatt. That is 0 0.001 watt. Okay, even this much intensity is harmful. So, you imagine if someone, someone has uh like someone put a laser of 50 watt power into your eyes it will get damaged it will whole wholly uh, get damaged even with a single strike fine that's so why laser such a laser cause fire as well yes what so can such a laser cause fire yes of course that laser can cause fire how 
uh, have you uh, tell me one more example in in that case light can be used to uh, create fire so you know magnifying glass magnifying glass right so what magnifying glass is doing the it is concentrating the whole yes exactly so it is concentrating whole light into single point similarly the laser also has a whole intensity concentrated to the single point okay so this is very harmful right so can it so, start fire on anything or like the small paper pieces and all yes the it depends on the object also okay so if the object is kind of like paper so pa what happen if a high energy is provided to the paper it can catch fire whereas if you provide this high energy to rubber it won't so it depends on the material also okay yes. but it, it is very high energy even with high energy lasers it can fully cut human also or any object lasers are used in many uh, industrial objects also to, to use for cutting okay fine so we are over with laser any doubt No sir. No sir. Good. Okay, we were discussing about the how we should take care of our eyes. Okay, you guys gave me very good points. Very good. So we should not use mobile phone or any uh blue uh, blue ray uh, object in the dark room. We should not. Sit more in the dust area because it can cause infection to the your eyes. Okay. Who is this? Light at the room. Hmm. Now let's start with the first question number one. Tell me. Suppose you are in dark room. Can you see objects in the room? Can you see objects outside the room? Sir, we can see, see objects. Objects. we can see objects. We can see objects inside yeah, the room. Sir, because the yeah, animals, they don't get enough light when we when we're in a dark. So when we come okay. out, the uh, sun gives us enough light to see. Like our eyes get uh, the eyelids get enough light to see the see in the light. Very good. Good. Now, second one, differentiate between regular and diffuse reflection. What are regular and diffuse reflection? So, regular reflection uh, is one in which... The rays are parallel to one another in regular. So, the reflected rays are parallel to one another uh, in a regular so reflection. Are not parallel. And and they're scattered uh, in different directions. Uh, in in uh, different directions. Uh, Okay, you can say that regular reflect, uh, reflection follows the laws of reflection. Sir, it takes place on a smooth surface. Uh, regular uh, reflection and diffuse, diffuse reflection takes place on a rough surface. Very good. Send in diffuse reflection, I is not equal to R. Yes, very good. Smooth, this is uh, rough. I equal to R, I not equal to R, it's regular, rays are parallel. Not parallel. Any other? Sir, I is equal to R in reflection, regular reflection. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no. And then does diffuse reflection mean the failure of the laws of reflection? Yes, sir. Angle of incidence is not equal to angle of reflection. Very good. Now, third one. Mention against each of the following whether regular or diffuse reflection will take place when a beam of light strikes. Uh, sir, the it is, sir, is regular because it's a smooth surface. Okay. Sir, B is also regular. Regular, sir. Sir, C is uh, rough. Why B is regular? No, sir, it's rough, sorry. It's a rough surface. Because, so because it has a spherical like, shape, that's why it is diffused. Sir, but isn't you it say... a bit smooth? 
what smooth is the chalk powder yes sir no chalk smooth powder is chalk like is smooth. chalk is smooth chalk is chalk. smooth yes you can say chalk is smooth where, but when you, it is broken into powder it has very many kind of particles okay so okay. you must have seen that when we write in the blackboard and when we erase it there are small 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 particles which, which like uh, uh, fly in the air okay the particles which are there in the air so these are very very minute minute particles present in the powder which will reflect each ray coming differently so we cannot say that this is a smooth yes sir sir it's in regular surface, uh, regular reflection we can say that the rays are parallel sir because in the case of uh, concave concave mirror the the uh, rays meet after reflection they meet at one point and in convex mirror uh, the rays never meet sir Hmm. after reflection but we are, the rays never meet but we are discussing about plane mirror right so okay. regular and diffuse reflection are there in the plane mirror isn't it okay sir so concave and convex those are very different things okay concave mirror is also smooth mirror and convex is also smooth mirror but their type of reflection they do that is very different from the plane mirror okay Now Sir, tell me the cardboard surface. Sir, topic any time. Ah, uh, what minus we? So can we do that topic any time? Concave and convex mirrors. Mm -hmm. Is it is it there in your syllabus? So not there actually. Not there. Okay. So are you guys interested to study it now? Sir. Sir, we already yes, we already learned it in seventh grade. Like it would be like a revision for us. We know what the what this means. Okay, very good. Sir, after this chapter, can we do chemical effects of electric current? Oh uh, yes, we will do the chemical effects of electric current. Thank you, sir. Okay, we will do it. So let me tell you a brief about the concave and convex mirror, and then. uh like have you guys seen the ray diagram the ray uh, image formation by concave and convex mirror yes. depending on the position of the object yes sir we did you have done um, fine okay so the concave mirror is like this what does mean by concave mirror that the, the when a object is placed in a one side then the bulged in okay the reflecting surface of a concave mirror is bulged in whereas when we see the convex mirror it is like this okay so this is the difference between these two that in concave mirror the inner part is reflecting surface we can say this inner part this is reflecting where in convex the outer part okay outer part is reflecting what happen when a ray of light comes out of an object okay so it travels you know that the ray of light always travel in a straight path so it will travel like this and it goes like this similarly one ray go like this so this is ray tracing of a object so if you guys haven't uh, uh, like uh, learned about it it it's okay so let me tell you how it is forming so this is how these are the rules sir? of ref yes this is will we have this for a test Mm, not test i am just uh, like you guys told me that you are interested to like read about it then i am just telling you this is not a new test okay fine don't worry so let's not go to the ray diagram let's just see the broader picture that when uh, can you guys tell me where uh, we use the concave mirror and where we use convex mirror 
Sir, convex okay. used in um concave mirrors are used in car mirrors and the tools the dentists use. Um, in car convex. mirrors, in the back mirrors, we use convex to okay, get a large view. So in concave mirrors, I think uh, do we use it for shaving? Yeah, spoon, spoon, mirrors? spoon, spoon. Yes, in spoon. Okay. The shaving mirrors. So, yes, sir. We use shaving mirrors. Sir. So yeah. we mirror use concave mirror to see small objects. So there or are we also can say it. it is used to magnify objects. What does magnify sir? means? Uh, yes, for sure. Sir, converts light rays. Light rays, sir. So it shows a yes. smaller object with big, big appears big. big. Correct. <laughs> so concave mirror is used to magnify. That is making the object bigger. So let's say how uh, it is helpful. It is helpful for dentists. So with our normal eyesight, we cannot see if there is any small like uh, some mm, what there is uh cavity inflammation cavity yes correct cavity inflammation uh pyria and some other small small like dark part or anything like yes cavity so with our normal eyes we cannot see small small cavities with, which are there in your teeth but with the help of this magnifying object like concave mirror they with the help of this concave mirror they can magnify the view and they can see that if there is some cavity or not. So basically, concave mirror is used to magnify objects. Whereas the concave convex mirror. So why we are using convex mirror as a mirror of vehicles? Okay, as a back mirror or there is a side mirror. Can Rear you tell view me? mirrors and side view mirrors, sir. Yes. Can you tell me why we are using these in that part? So, uh... To get the view of the larger traffic, sir. Like if we we can get the view of uh, more traffic, sir. Like okay, very good. It's larger it's view. Awesome. Like for, for like uh, to to view the entire entire uh, like like if we're going on a highway, sir, we can view the entire uh, road, sir. It shows everything smaller. Everything smaller. Very good. Smaller view. Large area. Okay, so convex mirror are used to like get like there is a large view. Okay, these are used as a side mirrors because there is a large view uh, behind the like truck or any vehicle. So we need to know the small small details like uh because if there is a large view, we need a small we need all that. A view in a small area so that we can clearly identify if there is some uh, vehicle behind or at the side okay so basically convex mirror is used to contain the large view in small area it it magnifies down okay it makes the object smaller whereas con concave mirror makes the object bigger it magnifies okay so this is the difference between concave and convex mirror. So what no. are the major forms? It's virtual What are? The images formed. I didn't get you. What you are saying? Images? So images formed by concave and convex mirrors. Okay, okay. So there is like it depends on the position of the here so i'm not making a, a ray diagram so when an object is placed this is center of curvature this is focus so you guys do not know maybe you do not know about center of curvature we know sir but it is double yes we know sir center of okay so yes. center of cur curvature is double of the yes, focus, sir, right? Yes, sir. So double of the focus. It, this is the position of focus and this no. is the position of... Yes, sorry. 
So yes, I always have this doubt. Is it called as focus or focal point? And when I asked Chat GPT or Google, there was nothing such as focus. I was getting so confused. Is it focal point or focus? When we discuss about this point, okay, and it is focal point. But generally, when we like, uh, we, when we are talking about it, we never say say focal point. Okay. But we say it as focus. So it's scientific it's about the. It's just about the way we talk. Okay. For the sake of science, we should say focal point and just for normal usage, we say focus. Is it so? Hmm. Yes, you can okay. say that. So when an object, this is object. Let me take two different colors. Let's say the yellow one. This is object and the green one is uh image. image so when an object an object is very far from the uh mirror then it is focused on the focus Sir. or you can say focal point so the image will be here near the focus when the object is at the center of curvature let's say you there is an object which is sitting at the center of curvature you will get the image same at the same position and these two like Sir, is it a real these... image or a virtual image yes i am uh, telling you that only so when an image is formed at the same side at the same side as that of object then sir, it is I... a real image Sir, it is formed on the screen, right, sir? It's not uh, like on the side, but it's on the screen. But it in, yes, you are correct that it is formed on a screen, but it, it is on the same side, right? The, if this, yeah, I can say yes. left, this I can say right. So both object and image are on the left side, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, it is correct that it, it will be formed on a screen or any opaque surface. Without it, we won't be able to make out the image. Okay. But I am talking about the sides. Like if this is left, this is right. Then the object and mirror. If let's say both the object and the image are on the right, right side. That means the image all is real here. Let's say I am taking object in the left side and mirror, uh, image in the right side. That means that image is virtual. Okay. So likewise, sir, here, uh, if... so here, uh, this the image is uh, uh, not erect, right, sir? It's uh, inverted. It is yes, inverted. It is inverted. Yes, and with along with the position, the uh, magnification also uh, changes. Okay. Yes. Sir. So if an image is very far, then here very small image will be formed. So let's say if uh, there is a uh, object on the center of curvature, then the, its image will be formed at the center of curvature only, but in the inverted side. Similarly, let's say if an image is at the focus, then that image it will be formed at infinity. Okay, what does infinity mean? That a very, very, very large distance. Compared to this distance, the distance of the mirror and the image will be very, very large. And if there is an object between focus and the mirror, then that image is virtual. That image is virtual. So can Sir? you tell me what is the position, what you uh, position you should take of object so that you get a virtual image? Sir, it should be... Um... Uh, more uh, like closer to the mirror. Sir. It should be very close to the mirror. But I have told you the criteria. Tell me the criteria. Anyone? It should be uh, closer to the mirror and it should be uh, clo closer than the focal point. Sir. Is others listening or not? If you guys are not interested, then I won't tell. Sir, we are listening. 
it should be farther than the uh, it should be closer than the focal point sir okay so let me repeat again so if an image i i have i have drawn the if uh, sorry the object i have drawn the object in yellow okay dark yellow and the image as green so if an object is very far from the mirror let's say far from the sorry far from the center of curvature then that image will be formed here sir okay very close to the mirror if the object is standing at the center of curvature of the concave mirror that means the image will be formed at the same position only but in the inverted direction up if someone is st standing like this then he will be very in inverted right you can if, observe this in a spoon sir yes you can observe this in spoon very good if a object is at the focal point then the its image, Im will, be image will be infinity infinity means very large distance okay if an image if an object is between focal point okay like kartik said focal point or we can say focus so if an object is between focus and the mirror then, then the ob then the image will be virtual yes very good so then the image will be virtual it will be if the object is to the left then the image will become to the right okay so in concave mirror all images are formed are real except when the object is placed between focus and the mirror right whereas in convex mirror every image is virtual okay if this is object the image will be formed at this side if this is virtual image will be formed at this side okay there is no specific criteria so now you you should know that why i i was telling the uh why i was telling that if object is placed uh, far from con uh, center of curvature at center of curvature at focal point and between focal point and the mirror so it is just to tell you that all kind of images are formed are real except if the object is uh, uh, object is placed between focus and the mirror whereas in con convex mirror every image is virtual there is no real image and let's move to the one so we were talking about cardboard tell me is cardboard a smooth or a rough it is rough rough good it is rough now marble floor with water regular. spread over regular smooth and polished surface regular Okay, I'm calling with the regular or the pure reflection. No, no, mirror okay. is also we... smooth. Regular reflection. Yes, it is regular and smooth. Mirror. Piece of paper. Regular. Is regular. regular. Okay. Piece of paper. Diffuse reflection. Diffuse. Yes, it is a rough surface. Now state the laws of reflection. Sir, uh, law of yes, I equals to R. I, 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 I equals to R. Equal Angle, so I angle of I angle of incidence reflected ray and normal lie on the same plane. Same. Okay, all these lie in same plane. Same Very plane. good. Now, first one describe an activity to show that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal and the point of incidence lie in so the same plane. You have plane. to draw a, a paper, mirror. Sir. You have to draw a, a paper. Mirror. Okay, very good. Mirror is very good example. Also, there is you can say the piece of paper. Paper, sir. Yes, it is also an activity to to draw it on the paper. Mirror is very good example. Any other? Sir, um, sir, in a dark room, if you turn on the torch light towards the mirror, you can see the path of the light, sir. But there is no reflection. So light falling on our show eyes. Show that the incident ray and the reflected ray and normal lie on the same plane. There's an activity on that. Mm -hmm. So light falling on our eyes, by which we uh, can see. Okay, Manasmi, tell me what kind of thing we observe in our eyes. Is it reflection Sorry, or refraction? Re refraction. 
So it's refraction. So it's refraction. Okay, so let me tell you one thing that you must have observed that when light light goes uh, towards the mirror, it never passes through the mirror. Okay, so in mirror the light gets reflected. That is, it is not passing through the mirror. Like you take a mirror and see the back side of the mirror, you will never observe that the light ray, uh, light ray is coming out of it. Where is an eye? What is there? What it is that there is a light entering into eye. There is a lens, and after passing to the lens, it is going to the retina. Okay, that means the light ray is passing through the eye. Okay, this is whole eye, and our eye starts from for cornea. Okay, so it is passing through cornea, passing through uh our pupil. It is. Uh, passing through the lens, okay, eye lens, and then it goes to the retina. That means it is passing through. So this passing through phenomena is refraction. And yes. when the light ray does does not pass and it goes to the same medium, so what is uh, difference between reflection and refraction? That the light ray going in uh, uh, light ray which comes out in the same medium is known as as reflection. reflection. Whereas when light ray travels to the different medium, one medium to another medium, then that is refraction. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now sixth one: a person one meter in front of plane mirror so seems meters. to be two meters away from his image. So one meter. No, so it is asking meter. dash Sir, meter away from the mirror. From image. image. Distance from uh, mirror to oh, image is one meter. meter. So one meter plus one meter is two meter. Yes, correct. So if, if this is one meter, if this is one meter in front of the mirror, the image is also one meter, and it is asking the person. It is asking the distance between the image and the object. So it will be two meter. If you touch your dash here so with left. right hand. Okay. So you ask this in the test. So left question. and left hand. Left and left. Left and left. As in the test, Very right, good. sir. Now C part. The size of the pupil becomes dash when you see in dim light. Increases. 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 Enlarges. Large. Enlarge. Large. Yes, enlarge. And birds have. Night birds have dash less, less, than... less, than... less lesser, lesser, less phones. Okay, than rods in their eye. What does th th this mean? Can you explain me, sir? Because rods adjust to dim light, sir. Rods adjust to black and white light, and cones adjust to bright light, and they help in detecting color. Since the night birds don't have to detect the color in the uh, dim light, the, they have uh, more rods than cones. Very good, very good, well explained. Seventh one, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Is, so it is always, always. always, always. Okay. Okay, I have to raise this. Uh, tell me, uh, image formed by a plane mirror is virtual behind the mirror and at the same size of object. Okay, virtual behind the mirror. And enlarge. It is incorrect. No, sir. Virtual no, behind the mirror. The the same same size. Okay. Okay. B. Uh, describe the construction of a kaleidoscope. Can sir, we have to have a three. Sir, it's a device based mirror. on um, principles. Sir, construction. Of multiple reflections. Okay. Construction. Sir, it has uh, three strips of uh, plane with three, uh, three strips of. Um, uh, mirrors, uh, oh. sir. Uh, it is uh, okay. Let built in. I should let Roy speak. I should wait. Let Roy speak. Okay, continue, Roy. So, so the three plane mirrors are fitted in a tube. Mm -hmm. One end of this tube is closed by a cardboard disc. Okay. Or a yes, a cardboard disc having a hole in its center. Mm -hmm. Sir, and the glass plate is on the other end. So. Other end. Yes. Sir, the tube is closed. That's all, sir. Tube is closed. Also, we put pieces small, glass. colorful glasses. Pieces of small, small pieces of glasses. Colorful glasses. At the other end. Other end where we have put the glass as a 
opening uh, like closing okay so we see different different kind of patterns in the kaleidoscope so draw in uh, assessment we had to make one uh, kaleidoscope you have to or have you made sir i made uh, the teacher gave us three options i did dispersion okay. of light dispersion of light okay how you did dispersion of light so the teacher told you take some water in a plain glass uh, a plain glass glass uh -huh. and you place it in a dark room on a white sheet of paper and uh, phone torch light okay very good that means with the help of refraction yes sir uh, do you observe same kind of phenomena somewhere else sir rainbow rainbow very good so in rain Remember also there is a water droplet through because of these water droplets we see rainbow okay the different uh, colors which are splitted from yes, the white light. the white light comes in contact with the rain right it comes in the contact with the rain correct because uh, after you never observe rainbow in a clear sky every time there is a uh, like rain and like it should follow that criteria that along with the rain there is sunlight so that in that case you will observe rainbow because without sunlight there won't be any splitting or any white light very good now next is draw a label sketch of the human eye okay there is okay there is no okay there is no. fine do this this is your homework draw a Level sketch of the human. Sir, is there a simpler uh, way to draw it so we can use so we can draw it without confusion in the exams? Simpler way. So, uh, mm -hmm. you guys must have uh, be must be using like uh, protector, protector and the uh, okay. compass. The, compass, yes, compass. So with the help of compass, you can what you can do, you can make a simple uh, arc. In that arc, it is the middle part. Like if I raise it, it will go whole. So it is the middle part. Make it a little bulge. Wait a second. Make it a little bulge. And you understood, right? I'm trying to make it a little yes, away. Okay. And then you can make a lens. It's attached to the muscles. And it is all going through. Your optic nerves, right? Yes, sir. I I can yeah. think of this one only. Sir, uh, of course, of course, sir. Uh, do the work because we'll also have to explain it. So, yes, sir. This so is we have to label it. That's it. Yes, sir, sir, can we do the okay. next uh, question, sir? We'll send you the picture of our drawing. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, suggest me is anything else can be made in this diagram sir uh sir, the textbook one is retina retina um, retina sir, and optic optic, optic yes, sir, optics and all that that is labeling i'm asking like diagram okay i haven't labeled it right so you 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 were asking how you should draw so i thought he, you only want the drawing Sir, inside the so, textbook, inside the eye, there's something like a, so a small semicircle or something. Sir, blind, blind spot. Yes, sir. A small semicircle, what are you saying? Sir, should I show it to you? Okay, so. Blind spot. This is a ciliary. Uh, ciliary. This is lens. Lens. Inside one is aquasomer. Aquasomer. Yes, sir. Sir, blind spot. Okay. There should be one 
uh, there should be what what i, I was missing i was Sp- missing i iris Lera, cornea and... iris pupil yes i was missing iris and pupil so you Sp- should make Sp- iris and pupil Sp- that is c s c l e r a i don't know how to pronounce it okay this is a good cornea Lera. better than the last one so there is a huge circular dome shape and there is a okay you guys do your diagram thing from textbook okay yes sir hmm now 11th question gurmit wanted to perform activity 16.8 using a laser torch her teacher advised her not to do so can you explain the basic basis her of the teacher's advice her not to do so because uh... If you point the laser in the eye, it can co- cause a permanent defect in our vision. Yes, a Sir, we cannot say permanent. Like I have told you, that it depends on the power of the laser, but it can damage our eye. Like if you do repeated uh, this laser uh, incidents on your eye, it can permanent do so. But Sir, it depends on the power. Sir, even if the lenses on will the laser harm the eye? Ah, uh, even if. Sir, with glasses on, the laser cannot harm the eye, right? Oh, uh, glasses, laser. That is a different thing. Like laser can be used in many ways. Yes. Sir, this won't is it reflect the laser? Yes, sir, won't it reflect because the lens is there? Sir, what I think is that the glasses just pass the light through our eyes, but they even if they are blue ray glasses, then they uh, reflect the blue ray. blue rays away from the uh, okay first uh, thing the blue blue ray you are saying also i told you every wavelength every light has different kind of wavelength so what these glasses contain they glasses contain specific type of coating which reflect this harmful uv rays or you uv rays or you can say blue light okay sir, blue UV light for blue light or both are not the same right sir uh blue mm-hmm. light is different from uv like it it is a mixture of some harmful rays okay so this coating what this coating do this coating reflect this blue light okay but this coating is never perfect because it is always a 90% or 90 above it emit some light okay it allows to transmit now rohit was asking that why uh, eye does not reflect laser light right So, so the lens, the glasses lens, lens, lens. So I told you that lens do what kind of kind of phenomena? Is it reflection or refraction? Sir, reflection. The refraction. I I am asking about lens, lens. Oh, sir, yes. refraction, refraction. Yes, sir. refraction, refraction. That means it will allow to pass the light through it. Okay. So that okay. it means it won't reflect laser light. Sir. And this uh, will fall. How it damage? It actually can you tell me which part of the eye does the uh, laser light damage? Retina. 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 Very good. And ciliary muscles. Uh, not ciliary because, muscle, but right. Sir, retina because only. if uh, in my point of view, it the ciliary muscles get damaged because uh, too much of strain of the uh, iris or lens, iris or uh, pupil, sir. Because too much of light is getting focused. No, no, like, that's not it. So it when too very, bright. very high energy passes through this lens and it falls on the retina, so it damages the parts of the retina. Okay, uh, it damages the retina. So here, if this, let's say, if this uh, uh, laser light has fall, then you will observe that there is a hole, hole at this part. What does the, that hole mean? That there are there exist no longer the cells the cells which were responsible to carry that signal to the brain can you tell me i want to know one answer from you that how due due to which phenomena does this cell get damaged can you tell Sir, me like uh... manasvi told me the focusing of light and burning can we say the same thing here also yes sir yes sir too much of uh, 
Yes. So we use sir, a lens. Okay, wait, wait, Ashwin. So we use lens to focus the sun rays to a very small part. Okay, very small part. So that causes burn, burning. Similarly, this this laser light is itself a very narrow beam. And the lens present in the eye will focus it more. If it focuses it more, then it will cause a burn in at the spot at which it fall. Okay, when it falls at the retina, it will cause a burn. Due to this burn, the cells which were present, the cells which were present at this spot, will die. If the cells die, then there is nothing left which will call, uh, which will like. Uh, Transmit the these signals color. to the brain. Okay, nothing which can transmit the signal to the brain. Uh, there is one case like one case of a lady. She used her phone in the dark, like after uh, in the like in a dark room without any other lights, only the phone and herself. Okay, in a dark room, <clears throat> she used that phone for two years. At maximum brightness. Okay. She used her phone in maximum brightness for two years. So later it was found that her eye had more than 1000 holes. Okay. So her eye, her, her eye had more than 1000 holes. So can you tell me what these holes are? So by the concentrated light. Yes. By the concentrated eye, the damaged part of the retina. Okay, the damaged part of the retina. Right? So, the, uh, what the lens do? Lens focus the image at different parts of the retina. Similarly, like if you are using phone like this, then the lens will focus, focus the light at the upper, upper, uh, upper part of the retina. If you are using phone like this, then the lens will focus the uh, light to the lower part of the retina. Similarly, that lady had more than 1000 holes in her eye so, so you can how could she see so she can uh, like you know that this is a this whole area is retina apart from the holes he she had the 1000 holes there were other part also that was like undamaged but it won't be uh, much long let's say if you she used the same uh, if she follow the same activity for more for one year or uh, more, then she may lose the whole eyesight. Okay, sir. So? Sir, if we have holes in our retina, does that mean that the image that we see, it's as if we are seeing some places that of that image uh, which have holes, like as like uh, for example, if we are seeing a screen, sir, with uh, uh -huh. holes in our retina, it feels. Does it feel like a uh, when we are seeing an image, it it's as if the image has holes. So this light ray is coming through the retina. It comes to different parts. Okay. It comes to the different part, but it depends on the how much intensity it is falling. So the lens, what the what, what is the work of lens? It focuses the light to the single point. So let's say it is focusing this light, this much light. So I am rep representing the thickness of the ray with the intensity so it is focusing this much light to the this spot but it also send some small small intensity to other parts do you agree with me yes sir yes so it sends small small intensity to other parts of the retina let's say this point the high intensity point got damaged so this point got damaged so now tell me what will happen. Sir, the intensities will other be uh, will shared to the other parts. Please. Other parts will help. No. So the lens will still focus the whole light ray to the this spot. But since there are no cells present, that means the signals which are reaching to these parts, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, signals reaching to these parts will go to the brain. Can can you tell me the difference in the intensity? Sir, as it is less intensity, so the image will be blur. Blur, yes. It will be blur. 
or very less intense okay so you basically we can say it is blur so this is the damage which goes due to the hole formation in our retina so the intensity which she was like any person was observing earlier it won't be the same so i have exhausted my time that's all for today do you have any doubts if you have any doubts can stay others can leave thank you good night sir i have a, sir, i sir. have a doubt sir not related to the topic if you uh, have bye time to tell bye bye okay ask sir uh, does does wavelength and the frequency have uh, a relation to uh, the speed like how fast uh, uh like for radio signal sir does mm -hmm. like ha, like is there power for radio signals like uh, how does the power differ is there a unit unit power is always in what sir uh, like uh, of radio signal sir like so radio waves this wave the power depends on the wavelength okay so these uh, uh, have like we can uh, directly relate that energy is given by h c by lambda so you forget this whole part you just remember that e is inversely proportional to wavelength if any ray mm -hmm. has higher wavelength the energy will be what low energy will be low if someone has lower wavelength what will be the energy will be high sir will be high yes sir so okay. if the frequency so, of a wave of a of a radio wave is very high that means mm -hmm. it will it will take a much easier time to reach a distance very good yes it will take very sir and like uh, uh, for example mm -hmm. a small radio wave is sent to a distance of 5 km sir so is there mm -hmm. any chance that a radio wave can stop in the middle because uh, because uh, it cannot reach a distance it can be stopped depending on the loss it is facing like any radio wave traveling it suffers an attenuation attenuation means the loss so if the loss is very high then it may be possible that the whole uh, the radio wave won't reach to the other point okay sir because that's why uh, they put uh, like now you can think like you you can think that higher frequency means higher energy so why we are use, why we are not using higher energy to transmit a signal because higher energy means that the signal how uh, whatever the loss the signal will reach okay sir no no i am asking that you must have this doubt isn't yes, it good that, isn't it good that we use high energy uh, waves from one point to another that way if there is some loss in the surrounding it won't uh, affect much isn't it uh, it will affect i think sir how sir uh, like if we use high energy high uh, energy radio waves it can ha mm -hmm. harm the aerial uh, life like uh, not like in the air sir like birds let's say we are not considering about environment very we are very bad people we are concerned with our profit okay we, it does not matter to us what will happen to the environment now as a businessman tell me you want to increase your business so you want to have good connectivity and you want to send a radio wave so that you have a good business so tell me can you uh, will there anything uh, is there any effect when we send high energy to the one point to the sir, another high energy means the energy will be wasted sir so maybe the uh maybe the usage of other like uh, panels or uh, uh, like other uh, type of material that bounces the like th that okay. can send there is a simple answer to it you will encounter this in your later classes that with higher energy the loss the loss it suffer okay the loss it suffer is higher that if you there is a particular kind of frequency if you send your signal at that frequency only okay it is calculated like all these are calculation 
so in, there is according to the calculation there may be some particular type of frequency if that frequency is sent then you will have the very good connectivity but let's say you send a very low frequency that means it does not have energy it will be lost in the environment let's say if you send a very high frequency one so that only that also will suffer a great loss in the environment why because the there is a direct relation of attenuation which is the loss of uh, energy with the frequency sir then uh, sir then uh, do satellites uh, use higher frequencies to send the uh, uh, signals to the earth or does, do they use so satellites more... the there is a vacuum in the between atmosphere and satellite so these loss does not depend on vacuum so that's why they are sent in the high energy from the vacuum which can pass through it okay sir thank you it won't loss okay bye bye good night bye sir